Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at some explanations behind the principles of optimizing a water distribution system using EPA nets and also we shall look at the principles behind the hydraulics and how we can use it to our advantage to optimize a water distribution network system. And so before we go on, I would like you to click the like button and also to subscribe to this channel and share this video with friends. You may also click the notification button so that whenever new videos are produced, you will instantly be notified. And so let's look at these principles. So we all know that we need to distribute water for different types of uses. And one reason for the distribution of water supply is to ensure that portable water that is safe and clean is provided to different end consumers. Now, there are different uses for water, portable water in this case, because it is expected that the distribution system will contain water that had been previously treated in a water treatment plant. And so there are different um, end users. And also, these users could be classified into those that are living in residential areas, those that are living in, I mean, those that are, uh, those that are in the offices, industries, recreational uses, and also for agricultural activities. So, to enhance how effective and efficient these systems could be, engineers and water utility managers usually rely on specialized software tools and one of these tools is what we have been using so far the epa net or epa net and so our video will focus on some need to know information that will help us when we are optimizing a network system because we are going to treat an example and that will come up in the second part of this video so we all know epanet is a free open source software developed by the u.s environmental protection authority or agency and it enables users to simulate the behavior of water in a distribution network it can also be used to model pipe networks, tanks, pumps, valves, and other components and assess the performance of the system under various conditions. And so, Epanet's primary functions include hydraulic analysis, water quality analysis, and system optimization. So, basically, Epanet is a modeling and simulation tool. However, even after running the analysis, giving some inputs which had been adopted into the software, it is up to the water resources engineer to come up with certain uh, 
criteria that would ensure that the system performs effectively. And so there are some parameters that will also need to be considered. And these parameters include some of the inputs and the outputs in the software, which are primarily made up of what you have on your nodes. So when you have your nodes, we consider some parameters like the demand and the elevation. And then when we also consider the pipes, we put into consideration parameters like the length of the pipe as well as the dime or diameter of the pipes. So this is just to mention a few. So basically for optimizing the network system, there are actually five optimization techniques which could be covered. However, they are kind of interrelated. If we look at a typical example, we will see that. And so these optimization techniques include the hydraulic analysis, the demand allocation, the pump scheduling, the water quality analysis, as well as the detection of leaks. For now, our focus will be on the hydraulic analysis. And in this case, Epanet helps water supply, water system operators and water resources engineers to analyze hydraulic behavior, which involves the studying of the pressure, the flow rates, and velocities in the distribution network. So by optimizing ne um, pipe, net pipe diameters, valve fittings, and pump operations, Epanet can help to minimize the consumption of energy as well as the reduction of the risk of system failure due to excessive pressure or flow within the system. The second, the second um, technique is allocation of demand. And so, in this case, if the water demands are properly allocated to different areas within a distribution system, it enhances the operational efficiency of the network. And so Epanet allows the users to adjust demand patterns and simulate different scenarios to find out the most effective allocation. So this results in the reduction of losses of water and improves the serviceability and um, the reliability of the service. So, in a nutshell, Epanet optimization has benefits and one of it includes save of costs because optimizing the distribution system ensures that there is a reduction in energy consumption there is a minimal loss of water within the system and it also ensures that the lifespan of the system components are enhanced. Another advantage and benefit is that it enhances reliability and resilience of the water distribution um, networks. So it ensures consistent service to consumers even during peak demand or system disruptions. So, we are going to continue in our next video by looking at some of the uh, parameters like your pressure as well as velocity and how this could be some, some basic knowledge that will help us when making decisions, especially when we have, um, you know, a typical water supply system. So... Stay tuned for the second part of this video.